Olivier, we're down here at the uh, XL London for London Marathon. Uh, it's good to see you again in London. Um, quite a few things have changed since the last time I saw you. You've signed a couple of athletes, including a very good Spanish triathlete by the name of Javier. Yeah. And uh, you've got Chris Thompson running on Sunday. Yeah, yeah, I'm really pleased, as you say, having Javier in our team and uh, and uh, Chris Thompson also racing in our new new rocket we have in our lineup of shoes. Uh, and I'm going to be really looking forward how Chris is doing on Sunday. Uh, again, it's going to be our first marathon one in, in, in the Cloud Flash. So yeah, it's going to be good. And the obviously signing, signing someone like Javier Gomez, who's done so much, you know the. the that's a, a, a guy who knows what he wants to run in. I mean, did, was it a lot of work to have to, have to actually get him to on board with the shoes? Uh, you look, uh, absolutely. I mean, uh, I have a lot of work in terms of, we gave him some time. I approached him or I met him on a plane going from Los Angeles to Hawaii for the Hawaii Ironman. And uh, that was the first time I asked him, you know, do you want to try the shoes? And first it wasn't even because we didn't even have the money, you know, to get him on board, uh, to actually to sponsor him. But it was more to get feedback back from an excellent athlete from a runner from a triathlete and friend of mine and by then he was not willing or he was not uh, capable or not you know in position to actually test the shoe but a couple months later said the season is over and I can test some you know in a dark room on a late night when it's dark outside in Spain and that's what he did and he always liked the shoes and said I like the feeling sensation is something is different and then yeah I think we were just patient gave him some time send keep sending shoes and now he said, I'm ready. I think I want to, you know, definitely want to race uh, in, in your shoes. And really what, what, was the, that. what was the first shoe you sent him? The first shoe was the Cloud Surfer back then. Again, that was two years ago. And uh, I think one of the other shoes was the Cloud because Nicolas Spirig, another uh, Olympian champion from London, uh, was already racing in that flat. He liked that a lot. But again, Javier is even you know a different breed than Nicola. So uh, he needed a shoe that's closer to the ground, that's speedier, that is more responsive. And I think he found that shoe now in the latest lineup. And speaking of shoe, you've also got the latest shoe with you. I think yeah. you can just chat us through. Yeah, the, the, that's it's called the Cloud Flash. And I think the Cloud Flash, what we uh, did in the development is put, you know, a lot of ons technologies of, of the future of tomorrow into that one shoe meaning not just only building developing a lightweight shoe but also a very comfortable shoe at the same time so it's as we know it's not always all about comfort yes it is uh, sorry not all about weight and saving the weight it's pretty much throughout half of the marathon or half marathon it's also about comfort and that's what the shoe all about you still get a very nice cushiony feeling in the heel area but still get it very responsive in the forefoot. And what we did is, you know, knowing probably a little bit about on shoes and cloud tech, you know, we build our technology about around the cloud tech, those cloud elements. We lean engineered them, so made them thinner, lighter, and uh, added some rubber, some chemicals, so made made it lighter and more resilient uh, by even shaving off of the weight and size of the of the element. But they are very responsive, very cushioning in the heel, very responsive in the front. And we place them directly on the board, on the speed board we call it. That's the gray material, gray material here. And uh, the neat thing about the speed board is it's built out of B-Bags. B-Bags is a very resilient material, very durable. Uh, it's very fatigue resistant, so it bends thousands, almost millions of time and will always come back in the original position. So it's really something you want to have in a racing flat. It's almost like a spike shoe, almost like a carbon plate, but still giving you the flex you actually want to have. And then it's low built. You won't find any midsole in this shoe. I think this is unique. Usually you always have a midsole. Without shoe, without cloud flash, the midsole is gone. And this is unique. And on top of the plate, of the speedboard, is an engineered nano mesh. Uh, very built very light um, also sucking no water which is important racing in wet conditions so the shoe doesn't get really extra or doesn't suck up extra weight uh, that for one and then it's very airy 
around that we armed it by by the skeleton construction so giving you the hold for a safe ride going over speed on a race day and then I think the detail also taken from a spike shoe is the heel cap building it a little higher building it nicely in so it clocks really holds your your uh, back of the foot nicely to the shoe going high velocity so the last time we spoke we were talking about how different it must be to see lots of runners r running in your shoes you know that was something that you've, you're seeing more and more but now having someone like Javier racing in them you know having someone that could be winning big big races which he does I mean how is, is that another part of the journey for you uh, obviously yes it is obviously I mean it's 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 a nice confirmation having a top uh, world-class athletes running in our shoes but it's Javier as you mentioned but it's also to me Chris you know being in this race and I am looking forward to see to watch him on on Sunday racing the new uh, the, the London Marathon and uh, I think he's gonna be in the top pack for long maybe very close to the finish still and he said he's capable to finish top five top ten so I think this is some really uh, great statement to our brand and uh, also to, to that shoe well we wish Chris luck on Sunday and we're looking forward to seeing the shoes at the finish line thank you so much Paul thank you